Hello everybody and welcome to my 95th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how you open an existing workbook uh, and manipulate it and then just save it and close it again. Um, so it's kind of like the last tutorial but instead of adding a new workbook completely I'm going to open up one that already exists. So all I need to do to change this is I've still have my workbook so let's set and then wb equal to workbooks dot open uh, and then we need to pass it a file name um, and notice how in here you also there's a password parameter at the fifth one so if you're trying to open a password uh, enabled workbook then you need to be using that password parameter um, but i'm just going to put in the file name so it's pasted in my file name, so that's my path, and then my workbook is called my new workbook. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. So my new workbook, and then dot xlsx, uh, and then that instead of um, creating a new one, it's going to open that one up. So let's just get this uh, and comment it out. Um, I don't think I've shown you how to do that yet with the comment block and the uncomment block. Um, it's a little quicker, so I'll show you how to do that. So if you go to view and then toolbars, uh, and then you click your edit toolbar, so view toolbars, edit, and it gives you this toolbar here, and you've got a comment block and an uncomment block, which is really useful because you can just highlight some code like that, and you can either uncomment it or comment it. So useful tip. Uh, probably should have shown you it sooner than tutorial 95 um, but I've only just learned it recently myself so please don't be too angry at me um, I was kicking myself when I found out about it anyway um, so let's just open that workbook up so let's press play uh, and you see voila it's opened up our workbook so it's the same one we created in the last one uh, and it's still got hello world written in it so I'm just going to write overwrite this hello world and then save it down. So let's just change my code. So let's bring this bit back. So uncomment block. Uh, and then I want to change it to, uh, let's just say goodbye world. Um, and uh, let's just do this now. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to overwrite it. And then I'm going to keep this path in, so I'm going to save it into a completely different one. Um, actually, no, I'm going to use a new thing, so I'm just going to do dot .save. I'm not even going to do save as. So I just want to save it in the same sheet. So let's press play. Uh, and notice how quickly that happened. It came up and then disappeared on the left. On some computers, it will take a lot longer. Um, and what quite often is worth doing, if you don't want the user to see what you've done, then just use the application dot screen updating equals false and then after you've done it do the application dot screen updating equals true uh, and this is just going to hide from your kind of end user that that's happening so if we press play uh, it happens in our code but if we ran it from our sheet we wouldn't be able to see anything happening and it wouldn't show up down here or anything uh, and also it makes it run a lot faster so that is definitely worth considering um, using the application dot screen updating um, so let's close off them um, and let's just check that that's worked so let's go into my examples folder my uh, no not examples so into this workbook uh, and check out what it's got in it and it says goodbye world. So that has worked absolutely fantastically. So what we could do, uh, what we want to show you next is that you can kind of copy an entire sheet out, say into kind of this workbook. So we can do dot sheets, sheet one, dot uh, cells value equals, and what we actually want to do is we want to assign this to this workbook. So this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot cells comma one comma one dot value equals 
and then our WB dot sheets. And I don't need the WB because I've got my with WB. So let's just get rid of that. Uh, and I don't need the save because I'm not changing anything. So we'll just close it. So let's press play on this. Uh, and then it's gone into that sheet and it's extracted the data and it's put it in our tutorial 94. So that can be really useful as well. Um, and we're going to be using the, the last two combination of things both in the next couple of tutorials uh, and in future example tutorials that I'm going to do. Um, so that's going to be it for the, this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to use you how to use file system objects in order to create uh, or kind of search through files and test the kind of folders on your computer. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.